Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Learn to Draw. Um, this week we are going to be drawing Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Uh, last week we drew Sebastian, uh, so we're kind of continuing, and then the week before that we drew Flounder. Um, so we're kind of continuing on this little mermaid uh, cast list. <laughs> so uh, we will jump right into it. Uh, please feel free to refer back to this image and then um, pause as needed. I'll go a little bit faster since you guys can fast forward and stuff. So yeah, good start. So the first thing we're going to start with, um, as always, is our, our reference circles. So we're going to start with kind of a pear shape for her face. So I'm going to start off with a smaller circle and then add a bigger circle right underneath. And then from there, I'm going to connect it. Just kind of make that beginning shape here. And we will edit this as our drawing progresses, but for now, this will be our face. So now I'm gonna add on my reference lines. She's looking to the left, so we're gonna have our horizontal line leaning to the left. And our horizon line is going to be right where those two circles meet. And I'm going to add in uh, two slanted ovals. Right, sitting on top of that, uh, those lines. Then I'm going to trace the top, the tops of them. These are going to be her eyebrows. So I'm tracing the left one. And then the right one I'm going to trace, but I'm going to add kind of a little curved shape at the end. Or a little V shape. So I just traced the visible tops of them. Then I'm going to go in with a little triangle shape inside each of these um, ovals. Almost like a guitar pick shape. And we're not going to really see it on the left side, so just keep that in mind as you're drawing. So I'm kind of drawing like half of a triangle here. And then we can add her eyes. So her eyes are just going to be um, kind of an almond shape at the bottom of this triangle here. Same thing on the other side. And then um, at the bottom of this left eyebrow, I'm going to add her nose in. I'm just going to kind of cut off that eye a little bit. So I'm adding a line going out and then a line going straight down. Oh, 
that's my dog, sorry. Then I'm going to curve it up. And I'm gonna just kind of fix that left eye there. So now I'm gonna add the eyelashes because um, I feel like that really like <laughs> kind of shapes the face a little bit. So I'm just going to add big uh, long eyelashes at the corner of her eye and at the bottom. Same thing on the other side. Big eyelashes and again at the bottom. I'm going to add a little curve line for her eye iris, then another half circle in the middle of that for her pupils. Then I'm just going to kind of curve off that face there. some cheeks, so um, a big letter C shape on the left side, and a letter C shape on the right side. And then um, right under her nose, I'm going to add her little smile lines, her evil smile lines. So that's going to be a curve line and then kind of following the curve of that cheek and then same thing on the other side curve line following the curve of that cheek then for her mouth i'm going to add a little letter v kind of at the bottom of this original circle here Then a little hump and bringing it up in between that little curve. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to close off this lip with a curved line. Then taking a slightly curved line there, it's going to be the teeth. Then I'm going to take a big curved line down and out for her mouth with the bottom part, her bottom lip. I'm going to take another line, just kind of mirroring that back up to the mouth. Extend the teeth line down a little bit. And then for her teeth, um, I'm going to add kind of a straight line right there. Add a little triangle and complete that line. So you get like a sharp tooth. Then she has a little C for a chin. Then I'm gonna go through and just kind of complete that chin there. Just kind of tracing around.
She also has a little ear, it's a C shape, a little S in it. And then for her earring, she has a shell, so it's going to be a little upside down V. And just two little rectangles. And then you can kind of see the earring on the other side as well, so we're going to throw that in. So a little L shape. And then two little curves. And a little triangle. Then for her hair, I'm just going to extend the curve line up, so it's like a letter S. Round out her face there. Go back up, make it a little spike. She almost has like flames for her hair. Just kind of going in, adding some curves. And then she has a little beauty mark here. So I'll draw that, just a little circle. Give her some shoulders. And I'm going to color in, start shading some stuff. I'm going to color in her mouth or her lips. Just kind of shading under her eyebrows. And I'm just going to go through and just kind of fix up some details. Darkening up my lines. And um, she's also wearing the necklace that she keeps Ariel's voice in. So to draw that, I'm just going to draw a circle. And a little spiral. Curve off there. Back to a little conch shape. Just kind of connect that back to her. But yeah, that is it for Ursula. Um, if you want, you know, you can sharpen up her features, make her look a little meaner, you know, a little more of a triangle look. Thicken up her eyebrows, which I might do right now, because why not?
and that is it she kind of looks like dudley from harry potter i don't know why my drawing kind of turned out that way but here we are um yeah thank you guys for joining and watching and i will see you guys in class <laughs> bye